Hi everybody and welcome back to some more MotoGP 17 here on this channel and in today's episode we're back on the managerial career. I hope you're enjoying the series guys. Don't forget to hit that like button. I really appreciate all your support. Please keep commenting and subscribe if you're not subscribed. So we're going to jump straight into the first race in Spain and get straight into the qualifying. So here we go guys. Right, let's see if we can nail this corner. This corner could be really, really tricky. And yes, we're up on that second checkpoint, which is awesome. Right, let's get nice and tight onto the apex. Nicely does it, get a good drive out this corner. Uh, this bike is still struggling on some of these corners. The back end keeps on really giving me grief. It's been like that from the start of this series. Uh, we have upgraded the bike slightly. Uh, nothing seems to make a great deal of difference at the moment. So I think we need to uh, maybe upgrade the suspension and the frame a little bit more. And we're up on that third checkpoint by a decent time as well. That is awesome. If we can get into the second qualifying session, I think we're going to have to improve a hell of a lot if we want to get anywhere near the fastest times. Right, try and hold it into this turn. All oh, nicely does it through there. Let's try now this last corner. This is the corner I really struggle on. Uh, I've crashed out a couple of times in this session already. That's not too bad. Drive and see if we can get a decent time on the board. Over the line. Oh, that's not bad. Right, so that's the first qualifying session over. Let's get straight into the second qualifying session and see if we can just speed up a little bit because the times are going to be a hell of a lot quicker. Right, let's try and get to the second checkpoint. Are we still up on the time? Yes, we are. Fantastic. But we are really struggling in this session. So far, we've only got 10th. And Mark Marcus has just set a 135.975. Oh, my dear Lord, we're nowhere near that time. If you look at my personal best so far, it's actually slower than the time that got us through to this second qualifying session. I'm really struggling. I've made a few alterations, and I've actually made the bike uh, worse. Uh, I'll try and get it back to the way it is and oh god we're down on that third, third checkpoint that's not going to help let's just see if we can push it a little bit more but I think I'm going to have to go back to the original setup that I started with in the first qualifying session because I'm actually slower and uh, we can't afford to uh, lose any more places in this session we've got to try and at least get top six and at the moment it's looking like a real struggle let's see if, what time this gets us and oh god we've got sick but i'm gonna make some adjustments and see if we can improve on this time so i'm just jumping into the garage now what a poor qualifying session guys we only managed to take seventh position we're nowhere near the speed mark marquez is this is going to be such a difficult race let's just get straight into it and to see what we can do oh dear it started raining this could change things are they going to be any better in the wet or are they going to be slower? We're going to find out. This could really be a game changer. Let's get straight into it. Right, so here we go with the Spanish GP around Jerez in wet conditions. Now, it's not raining at the moment, so that, that uh, track could dry up. But let's see if we can have a fantastic start. I mean, we're starting in seventh, so it's not going to be easy. We've just got to try and get off as quick as we can. So let's see if we can get a good start. And off we go. That's not too bad. Let's try and get the bike down and get some traction. Oh, God, we've managed to slip past Rossi and Davizioso. And we've managed just to get in the inside of Marquez. But we've got uh, Cal Crutchlow that just got past us. Danny Pedrosa. But we've managed to dive up the inside. And let's see if we can get it into that corner. Yes, we've managed to do it. Now, we need to stick on that dry line and try and use that dry line as much as we can early on in this lap. And we've managed to get away. What an awesome start here uh, in Spain around. Jerez. Now we've managed to get away and we're just pulling away as well. Oh my dear lord, what a start. Now I am finding that the AI are not very consistent. Sometimes they're okay in the wet, sometimes they're really, really slow. And it looks like they're slow around Jerez. And that's going to work into our favour, but don't ruin it, Guna. Just lost it in that corner slightly. we just got to try and keep it nice and steady. It's starting to rain now, so that dry line is going to disappear very, very soon. And we've just got to man manage these wet conditions. But as, as long as we're pretty good into the corners, we should be able to have a comfortable race and we can take maximum points. But this is where Milestone have got to sort this out. You've got to have a little bit more consistency. The AI have got to be a little bit quicker than this in the wet there's no way 
I should be able to overtake from seventh position and get away that quickly in just three quarters of a lap. But it's just not very realistic. They need to sort that out. But I'm not going to moan. If I can get to a maximum points in this first race, <laughs> that's good for me in the championship. Right, let's keep it nice and steady. Make sure that I don't come off because I could be... Um, saying how easy it is and then I'll crash out and then it'll all go wrong so let's keep it nice and steady these tyres are going to wear slightly in the wet but not a lot right keep it nice and smooth I don't need to gun it into the corners now we've got a healthy lead there slow it down now they were hitting uh, in the dry a 135.9 I think Mark Marquez hit and let's see what sort of times I'm going to hit in the wet uh Let's just get this lap out of the way and we'll see what sort of times they're hitting. Now, you'd think in the wet they're going to be, you're going to expect maybe two, maybe three seconds slower. Let's see how much slower they are because at the moment I'm just absolutely leaving them in, in I just can't even see them on the map. They're really, really slow. Right, so we're already, already five seconds up. Oh my God, that is ridiculous and I'm not even going really, really fast either. I'm just taking a gentle... Uh, race around the circuit and just keeping it nice and steady no need to go mad they really are not keeping up at all right this could be an absolute whitewash it really is and let's see what sort of time we're up on the next split point it was five seconds at the last oh I didn't see it didn't come up we'll check when we go over the finish line let's see what sort of time we can hit on this uh, second lap now we're not going uh, really really quick we're just taking a nice steady run right keep it nice and steady into this corner get a nice drive and uh, that come towards the final lap let's see what sort of time we can hit and we've hit a 138.4 now my fastest time was a 136.5 for my qualifying so it's only about two about two seconds two and a half seconds uh, but uh, they must be running uh, much much slower than that and uh, that is a massive surprise right let's just try and keep it nice and steady let me know in the comments below if this has happened to you guys because it's not happened to happening to me on every single race in the wet some ra races they've been okay but on some circuits they just really can't keep up and uh, it's a real issue especially when you're on simulation pro physics uh, you would want the AI to really give you a really, really good battle. Right, keep it nice and tight into that turn. Keep it nice and smooth. Again, they're nowhere to be seen. It's actually not telling me the gap at all because they're that far behind. Let's just try and keep it nice and steady into that turn. And we're coming towards the end of this third lap. And it's a nice, easy win. Now, after that qualifying session, I was really, really worried about the race considering I qualified in seventh but to win it this easy just because it rained is really really poor and uh, but I'll take it like I said you can't you can't lick, look a gift horse in the mouth you've got you've got to take every little bit of luck you can get and we move on and uh, in the next uh, race we've got uh, Le Mans in France which is going to be a very very tricky circuit as long as it's dry if it's wet it might not be we will find out right let's get that front wheel up no nope, couldn't get the front wheel up but never mind let's get straight into the results and check out the times really disappointed with that race guys i mean i know i won but the fact they were almost six to seven seconds slower than their dry times that's not very realistic and i would have preferred the race was competitive and i earned my results i mean i might not have even gotten the podium after my qualifying times but there you go i'll take the points we move on there's nothing i can do about it that's just one of the things that they need to sort out on the game um i don't remember it uh, them being that slow in the wet uh, they have been slow on previous moto gp games but not as slow as that that was really really poor so we we'll move on uh, we might be able to upgrade the bike a bit uh, we we'll upgrade our teams uh, and let's see what uh, results our other riders have got as well because they've started to improve as well so we'll get into that now so here we go right let's just check out uh, what results our other riders got now let's see how our teammate did as well in the GP um, he finished only in 22nd Oh, another decent result by Jack and a decent position by Leo as well. Uh, our Moto2 riders are still doing poor. One of them crashed. Not that great, is it really? 
the Moto2 riders are really letting down the team at the moment. Uh, but we will move on. Uh, we do need to, I think we might need to upgrade their bike as well. We'll do that at some point. We'll try and concentrate on ours. So we've got an activity day. We'll just quickly sort that out. Uh, let's see what we can do. But uh, we are moving in the right direction. Our Moto3 riders are starting to get decent results. I'd, be, I'd love to see one of them win a race. That would be a really good achievement. Um, but we will see. Right, let's just see if we can just upgrade a few things there. That do. Got to use the bonuses as we uh, get them to improve our abilities. And then we will move on. I think uh, that's about it. Yeah, so we move on, guys. We go straight into the next qualifying session. Uh, we're in France. That's uh, fingers crossed for dry weather. Hopefully we will. So let's get straight into it. So here we go. Ooh, onto the apex through there. Nicely does it. Oh, fantastic. And we're up at the third checkpoint. Right, that's just now these next couple of corners and we should be able to move on to the second qualifying session. Now, I actually feel I've got decent pace around this circuit. Now, I haven't adjusted too much on the bike. Still got a bit of issue with the back end of the bike. Just kicking out slightly. Oh, God, just caught the curb there. Uh, but hopefully we can sort that out. Let's get over the line. That should take us. Yes, that takes us through to the second session. Oh, fantastic. Right, so we got through that first qualifying session, but uh, we're going to have to up the pace. The second group are going to be a lot quicker, so let's get straight into it and see if we can push this bike a little bit more. So, here we go. Really struggle on that corner every single time, and we are down on the time at the moment, but uh, we've still got enough time to go a couple more laps. But uh, this group is a lot, lot quicker. Uh, we need to just improve our time a little bit. So I think we need another half a second. And we're down at the third split point as well, which is really, really frustrating. Let's try and get nice and tight. And I think we're going to have to go another lap. And if we don't improve on that lap, we might have to make a few adjustments, I think, because the bike is just not quick enough. Right, again, we just caught that curve, but that's all right. Nicely does it. Let's see what time we get. I don't think it's any quicker. Uh, oh, we've got pole. Oh, I wonder if that'll stay, though. Let's get into the garage. So we managed to take a pole position with that time, guys, but only just. I mean, Vinales and Marquez were very, very close. This is going to be a very, very tough race. So we're going to get straight into it, guys, and see if we can get a win in France. So here we go. Right, so here we go with the French GP around the Le Mans circuit is perfect weather, so we haven't got rain. There's no excuses. We're going to get straight into it and see if we can get a victory. So here we go, guys. Right, so here we go with the French GP, guys. Around the Le Mans circuit, we've got Vinales next to us and Marc Marquez. We've both with good qualifying times and good pace. So we need to nail this start and try and get ahead. We know the last lap's going to be tricky because that tyre's going to get chewed up in this weather. Let's see if we can get a good start. This race is going to be super quick. Let's try and get off. That's not too bad. Keep that front wheel down. And we've managed to get away really well here. So let's see if we can get a good start and try and get into this chicane and try not to muck it up. Right onto the apex there. Slow it down, slow it down. Get nice and tight. Oh, God. Don't know. Don't ruin it. Yes, we've managed to get through there nicely. Oh, fantastic. So we've managed to nail that section. Right, drive it down the hill. Keep that front wheel down. Get nice and turned in. And we've got Vinales sitting right behind us. And Rossi's gone up to third as well. So we've got to make sure that we don't make any mistakes. Oh, God, just... Uh, tapped on the power a little bit too early there right nice and tight there oh god just went into that corner a little bit too quick we've got to nail these corners we can't like i said afford to make any mistakes right we've got to nail this corner this has been a really tricky corner for me nice and tight oh god that's not bad i will take that that was nicely done and we've managed to get away really well so we've got rossi in seconds second now ahead of his teammate vinales now we've got to try and manage these tires really really well we're on the soft, soft option, but it is only three laps, but you will get some tyre wear into the final lap because of the, the heat of the uh, conditions and the fact this course is so tough and you put so much uh, on tyre wear into the turns and accelerating out, though that rub is going to get burnt completely. So let's just try and get nice and tight. 
Making a nice run. Oh, God, just caught the curb there. But that, I'll take that. And that's not a bad first lap. So we've got over the line. And we've just managed to pull away. 0.8 in front of Rossi. So that's a really, really good start. Let's just try and hold it. Now, if you watch the race around this circuit in real life, Rossi was leading on the last lap. And then he threw it away by coming off. And Vignales won the race. <laughs> that's hope that we don't do the same thing again. Just tapping the power a little bit too early there. And just getting a bit of reaction. We've got to be a little bit smoother accelerating out those turns and Rossi's just closed the gap it's down to 0.5 so we still got to be very very uh, consistent in these corners try and slow it down don't lose it that's a little bit better Rossi is really gaining on us he's probably going to get in our slipstream and he's going to try and get past at this corner that's just try and be really smooth through here it's still only half a second right slow it down slow it down oh god nice and tight to oh, take that again that's not a bad turn as well so we've managed to nail it and we've managed to get away but we've got the two Yamahas still sitting behind us and it's uh, we're coming towards the end of the second lap this has been a good race so far we've bossed it from the start we can't throw it away now let's try and keep it nice and smooth through there that's nicely done and we'll check the split time oh god Rossi's really closed it down it's, uh, it's only 0.2 now oh my dear he's going for it on this uh, final lap I think he's going to make a challenge let's just try and sure, make sure we don't make any errors keep it nice and steady around here right that's now this corner Keep it nice and tight. Stay off the curb this time. Oh, that's nice and smooth. Oh, that is absolutely perfect. I will take that. And that should get us a decent lap time as well. I'm not sure whether we're, we're running the fastest laps. We will check at the end. But let's just get to the end and hopefully be in the lead. So we've managed just to pull away slightly again from Rossi. But the tyre is slightly worn now. It's down to halfway, which isn't too bad. But the tyres are cooking a lot into the turns. And oh, there's been a crash. There's been a crash. Um, I thought that was Rossi at first but it wasn't so uh, we'll just try and keep it nice and steady and just try oh Vinales has managed to get past Rossi so Vinales is back into second place ahead of his teammates there's going to be a lot of battling going on between them two teammates let's hope that they don't get in the fight with me and I can go on to the end and win this race this is how competitive I wanted this the Spain race to be but with the wet conditions it absolutely ru ruined it right uh, Vinales is still in second place right try and now that last corner oh my god we managed to nail it three times we haven't we didn't do that once in qualifying we've actually performed in the race which is fantastic and we've managed to pull that gap slightly a little bit more that is awesome right let's keep it nice and steady into this turn we're going to have a lack of grip so let's keep it nice and steady there's no need to push it that was nicely done kept it on the tarmac drive it down the, the hill now Vinales has closed the gap to 0.4 we've got to make sure that we don't make any errors into this last turn and we could bring home another victory in this championship on the GP bikes which is absolutely Absolutely fantastic. Right to last corners. Let's just try and nail it now. Nice and smooth again. Don't ruin it. Nicely does it. Last corner. And there we go, guys. Another victory. What a race. From start to finish, we were superb. What a performance, guys. We were the fastest in that race. We hit the fastest lap time. Uh, we were very consistent, even into the last lap, when we had a bit of tyre wear. We kept it nice and smooth, and we brought another victory home. Our teammate didn't do too well. He still needs to pick up the pace. But we're in the lead in this championship by 18 points, which is absolutely brilliant. Ahead of the two Yamaha guys. Uh, so they're going to be ahead in the, uh, the team championship. But hopefully my teammate will pick it up eventually. We might have to buy another bike, guys. Maybe we might buy a Yamaha or a Honda in the next, next season. And hopefully uh, that will help his times. But he's not really getting to grips with his Suzuki, which I can uh, understand because I've been struggling on it as well. But... We're doing really well, guys. That was a good race. Let's get into the HQ and check out the other results of the other riders. So let's get straight into it. So here we go. Right, let's check out the results of the other riders. And, oh, God, Jack got a win as well. So there's two wins for the team. Jack in the Moto3 and his teammate, Leo, got ninth. But the Moto2 riders let us down. Oh, God, Hugo crashed again. He's not doing very well on that KTM. We're definitely going to have to sort something out. Otherwise, he's going to get the boot. But other than that, two wins, guys, for the team. I'm happy with that. Well done, Jack. That must put him in a decent position in the championship as well because he's been get, picking up the results. So let's check out uh, his standing. And he's up to a decent position. And so's Leo. Oh, it's looking good. 
wouldn't it be amazing if one of our riders actually came and uh, into the top three in the championship or, or even won a championship maybe not this season but maybe in the second season but uh, yeah things are going really really well uh, we move on in this championship uh, so that's the end of the episode please smash that like button subscribe if you're not subscribed guys I'm hoping to push this series forward I hope you're enjoying all the uh, videos and uh, there's loads of uh, new series come to the channel on new games and in the next episode we're in Italy for Mugello Oh my God, that's going to be really good fun. So we're going to get straight into that uh, in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will see you very, very soon.